While Solana does have its fair share of problems, and some people consider Solana a sh coin, Solana still has a huge fan base out there, and it really does process 50,000 transactions per second, which is crazy in the blockchain space. Oh, but Inspector, Solana is centralized. That's how they can do that. Yes, inverted Inspector, I know, I know everything. But the point of this video is to check out the top 10 projects on the Solana network. But you know it's me, the Triple P, the Inspector, the Platinum Player Papa, there were none before me, there'll be none after me, which makes me the one and only, young and single, love to mingle, certified and bona fide and soon to be qualified, mind blow man, and I'm about to blow your mind, man. Thank you so much, mind blow family, for 50,000 subscribers. As a special for 50,000 subscribers, I'm giving away $2,000. There's a link in the description and in the pinned comment down there where you can see how you can enter the giveaway and now just for a quick second a huge thank you to the person sponsoring this giveaway you're welcome yes that's right there is no sponsor i'm giving away my own money and with that being said let's move on to project number 10. larix is a metaverse based finance protocol on the solana network just like all the other projects, every project here is in the Solana network, so I won't need to keep saying that. Laris has a total value locked of $160 million, and while they did start as a lending protocol, their offerings have expanded beyond the typical lending pools, and they were also the first protocol to offer mortgage lending and auto compounding. So lending protocols serve as an essential cornerstone for any DeFi ecosystem. DeFi lending platforms provide loans to borrowers with no intermediary usually earning participants from both sides stablecoins. Now their token right now is worth $0.0033. And with that being said, we also have a play to earn games to talk about. We also have NFT projects to talk about. So it's not all going to be finance and DeFi based applications on this video. So on number nine, we have a monkey business NFT. Now, before even talking about any NFT project, obviously this is no financial advice. I'm in no way, shape or form telling you that you should buy any NFT. This project is a number nine because it's one of the most successful Solana NFT projects and I felt like NFT projects also deserve to be on the list. So Solana Monkey Business is a collection of 5,000 uniquely generated NFTs, much like CryptoPunks, they really remind me of CryptoPunks, but I guess you can call them Solana Punks that kind of look like apes and they're also like this 8-bit texture design with over 107 million dollars traded since its launch and their most expensive nft the 1355 being sold for two million dollars back in october they say that they're a community-based nft project which will give access in the future to an exclusive member only based wallet with an on-chain voting system and also access to the monkey dao the first nft dao on solana on number eight we have a play to earn game called ev.io and here's a clip of the inspector aka yours truly aka the triple p aka the platinum player papa wrecking some noobs in this game it is a totally free to play game browser based you can literally just press their link on their website and you can start playing right away i've not tried earning coins in the game i've only tried playing it i get i, I gotta say it's a fun first person shooter that's for sure apparently just by playing you get access to their whitelist tokens so i've not found that their token is live as of this moment but as you can see they have a high social score of 910 compared to the average which is around 300 and i guess that is because they are free to play the game plays smooth it plays nice and it is free to start you can just jump in and start playing and that's something we love on this channel on number seven we have soul farm with their token tulip it is a DeFi application with almost 800 million dollars in total value locked now as of right now their tulip token is worth around 16 to 17 dollars varying up and down and soul farm is basically a yield aggregator or a competitive staking platform but even though they have such a high total value lock, their market cap is only $11 million as of this being recorded. 
The team behind Soul Farm has been introduced to each other back in 2017, and while Soul Farm is not the first project they've worked on, they have worked on some smaller Ethereum projects. Soul Farm is definitely their most successful project as of yet. Now, at number six, we have Radium with their Ray token, and with over $1 billion of total value locked, they are by far the biggest DeFi project on Solana. Now, Radium does do a lot of stuff from earning yields to IDOs, so initial DEX offerings to exchange tokens, some market maker, fundraiser, they're a very large automated market. And so the Ray token is available from February 2021, so they already have quite a big price history with their token being around for over a year. Now the Ray token is worth $3.2 as of now, and it hit an all-time high on the 9th of December with $16.5. Their current market cap is $300 million, with their maximum and total supply being 555 million coins. Now moving away from DeFi a little bit and getting back into NFTs, it's called Galactic Gecko's Space Garage, or GGSG. I don't really like the sound of that, but it is what it is. GGSG. Anyway, they're a collection of 10,000 geckos with a warrior pass. Currently, there are three different collections in this gecko garage, metaverse, NFT, whatever you want to call it. And they have a lore that goes quite deep with four different versions of geckos you can get. There's something called the Enigma Crystals, which are, which is similar to the Mutant Serum board a Yacht Club uses, so you would use the Enigma Crystals with your Galactic Gecko to make a Concordian. With over $47 million worth of NFTs traded since its launch, this is a very promising NFT project on the Solana network. With that being said, moving on to number four, Star Atlas, an upcoming metaverse play to earn video game that I have uh, covered quite a bit on this channel before. Star Atlas is definitely doing something amazing. As long as they can deliver on their promises, everything will be just fine. It is a very, very ambitious project bringing out the metaverse into the galaxy, or rather, bringing the galaxy into the metaverse. You'll be able to pick between three races, one of them obviously being human, one of them being like a robotic humanoid, and one being a straight up alien. Now, looking from the alien's perspective, aren't us humans aliens to them, right? We are. And there will be an ongoing struggle for territorial conquest, for political conquest. And so players will be able to join any one of these three factions and change the course of the story throughout this whole metaverse. So this is an MMO game, a massive multiplayer online metaverse, an MMOM, if you will. On number three, we have another play to earn game called Wizardia. And I think I pronounced that one right, Wizardia? It sounds wrong, but it's most definitely right. Wizardia is a play to earn game with rich, deep lore, captivating combat mechanics, and a focus on immersive spell discovery with a highly rewarding crafting system. Set in a futuristic world enhanced by magic, their art style is a mix of dark fantasy and sci-fi, <laughs> which is something I like very much. Obviously, they are full with NFTs that hold unique in-game utilities as well as real-world value. In this game, you'll be able to earn passive and active income. And so games that allow this basically allow people who don't want to play the game but want to support the project to earn passive income just by particular NFTs. While the active players, the ones that actually play the game, will reap most of the benefits from this game's ecosystem. So the active income is the same as all other Metaverse Play Tour games. Your NFT items can be improved, traded, rented, and so on and so forth. You guys already know the deal about that. But as for the passive income NFTs, there will be particular arena NFTs that you'll be able to buy. And then for every game played inside of your arena, you would earn passive income. And also for all the transactions conducted within your NFT arena. Mango with their token MNGO originally entered the world of blockchain as a lending platform, but have since then improved onto something else entirely. They're a decentralized cross-trading platform with up to five times leverage. They're very fast and have almost zero fees powered by Serum, which is another one of those uh, Solana 
protocol is Solana applications that I've not mentioned in this video, but Serum is very important for the Solana network. The Mango markets hold an impressive $126 million in traded volume, and they have recently expanded their offerings into the Mango DAO. And the Mango DAO has a treasury balance of around $900 million and 92 DAO proposals at the time of this video being recorded. They're currently working to become totally censorship resistant and with the Mango DAO, they now have the ability to fund various DAOs on their platform. Now, while this whole list wasn't in any particular order, I just kind of shot up the projects not to make a boring video for you guys and kind of change the dynamic along the way, putting some play turn games, some NFT projects, some DeFi applications. While all of that wasn't in a particular list, the thing that's on number one had to stay on number one because the number one is the actual Solana network. With 54 billion in total value locked, their goal is to, the ability to create scalable applications and with Ethereum only processing 54 transactions per second, Solana compares really well to that with their 50,000 transactions per second. Now, all of you know that Bitcoin works on proof of work, which means they have miners, so people that actually mine with and blockchains like Cardano and soon Ethereum to move to proof of stake, which allows people to stake their coins and earn a fee for every transaction that's happening on the network. Solana works on something else entirely called proof of history. So as it stands of today, Solana holds a lot of promise, but they also have a lot of challenges ahead. They've been hacked multiple times, but then again, so has Ethereum. Solana is not nearly as decentralized as Ethereum, Bitcoin or Cardano, but they are working towards it. While this network holds a lot of promise for the future right now, I personally am not a big fan of Solana, but I am a big fan of some of the projects coming to Solana, including Star Atlas. And if Star Atlas fails, I will totally lose my faith in Solana. So with that being said, I know you guys love Solana here on this channel and I respect everyone and everything, the whole point of blockchain, what was that? The whole point of the blockchain and the whole point of cryptocurrency is for all the projects to succeed. I don't want just one project to succeed. I want there to be a revolution. Solana is an essential part of that revolution. And with that being said, thank you for watching. Inspector out and I'll see you soon. Peace.